hello friends in this demo we would see two very beautiful important and much needed native functions uh, by Microsoft called as string split and string aggregate right okay so as as per you know as per usual agenda we would see first just you know a little bit we would understand what is string split then we would see what is string aggregate and then a practical demo so string split applic this is applicable to SQL 2016 and later Azure SQL database and uh, manage instance and synapse analytics table value function that splits string into rows based on a specified separator right in in our applications many many a times it is needed that you know uh, you may uh, like store a comma separated values into a single column right but while processing you may you know uh, want to separate out this values into different rows right so uh, till till sql 2016 you know a lot of lot of user defined functions were written uh, by the users uh, you know uh, the development team uh, but from 2016 onwards Microsoft has came up with this uh, beautiful native function called string split which actually uh, divides you know uh, separate out uh, the values into that column comma separated or maybe for that matter any any separator values and similarly many a times it is needed that you want to show uh, you know uh, the values of uh, different rows as a comma separated values into single column so where you know uh, that's where the string aggregate aggregate uh, comes into the picture so microsoft has come up with the string aggregate function from sql 2017 and later it is also applicable to azure sql uh, databases manage instance and synapse analytics right so in brief concatenates the values of string expression and places separator values between them right optionally ordering can be done within the group now this is a very beautiful feature has been uh, you know provided uh, that <clears throat> within the group if you want to actually order uh, the values that would get concatenated then that also uh, you can do okay let's word yeah so now it's an action time so this was very brief with string split and string aggregate uh, let us see uh, something into uh, the demo uh, so this is my management studio just to so if we want to very clearly or you know very very briefly understand what is a string split so basically it goes like that you know you use the function spring split then give a query uh, expression a string expression here i'm saying my name is jitendra and then a separator value so here you know you can see that space is a separator and it returns the column name as value right so when you execute this so you can see this whole string was separated with the help of uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, separator into uh, four different rows that is my name is jitendra right so this is this is a very simplest form let us see uh, you know uh, the difference uh, between the legacy and the uh, the native function okay so let me create one table i have created this table and i have input you know inserted some values so you can see here for hr you know i have actually comma separated the values different uh, employees for hr like vipul rajesh and john and for marketing for it and sales right now i want so this is basically you know uh, th this type of data is be generated now i want that you know i want to separate out this with each row like you know hr vipul hr rajesh hr john and so on so earlier before 2016 you know this is one function now this is not only the function there there can be several different ways uh, that can be uh, you know used to separate out this uh, the values from a single column uh, but all are called in user defined function so you will have to write an user defined function so this is one such function let me create a function first for you okay function is created and now uh, let us see so if you can see here this split string function is created and i'm using this split string and in another query i'm using this string split where you know from the employee table i'm passing these employees so if you can see here our employees is the column name so here in string split what i'm passing employees so that you know and what is the separator between the two values it is a comma right so when i execute this you can see that you know it has been actually created into separate rows like hr vipul hr rajesh hr john and so on and similar would be done by a string split also so, oops sorry oops yeah 
so similarly would be done by you can see here hr vipul hr rajesh and so on right so this is a very beautiful and this is a native function so like you know i have come across uh, the situations where user defined functions as you know that user defined functions uh, you know are considered uh, to be a like a query degrader right if you are using such user defined functions so in uh, you know uh, that's where this string split native function is very useful when i say degrader so let me let me show you uh, the demo on the execution plans uh, for this also so we have string split split demo so this is my sql sentry i'm using a third party software which will give us a uh, the execution plan and all other statistics so let me first i did the connection here string split demo okay and then i am getting the execution plan so both the both the strings would be executed now both are executed and you can see here this is legacy ud function and this is native inbuilt function right and see the difference of course see there is not much data here so you know uh, it would not be a very huge difference but still if you can see the cpu cost has been almost half here right even the duration this is 4 millisecond and here almost nothing the cpu here 16 in here almost nothing similarly the logical reads you can see here it was taking you know 144 and here just almost nothing so this is this is a basically huge improvement you know uh, you know using the string split compared to the uh, string uh, the net uh, user defined function okay so this this is what you know uh, uh, the improvement has been done and that's where you know i recommend uh, going forward or even you know changing this so that you know all your queries would get uh, enhanced like anything so whenever, wherever you are using this uh, user defined functions to actually separate out this uh, you know values from a column so instead of using uh, user defined function just use the spring string split now similar is the uh, string aggregate so let me again create drop and create the uh, table so table is created here there is a different thing so if you can see here on accounts i have two uh, employees on computer also three employees right and on for hr1 so what i want to do is i want to generate the uh, I want to generate the result like this like account Vipul, Nainesh and Mega, computer Jignesh, Chirayun, Gargi and HR and Rakesh. So in this case also you know before 2017 there were <coughs> uh, basically we used to use this stuff and XML path and now this is not the only way there, there would be much 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 uh, other alternatives to you know achieve this. Uh, I am just showing this is the this is one of the way legacy way right so when i'm when i execute this here you can see whatever we needed we we got like we pull nine and mega for computer jignesh chirayun kargi and even the implementation can you see here we will have to write this much code to generate this and compared to that just use this string aggregate compared to this user defined way right just string aggregate pass the employee uh, the column name a separator and that's it that is done so if you can see here the same result has been generated for both can you see here we pull nine inch mega we pull nine inch mega right so this is very if you can see the even the code has been reduced like anything you don't now have to write this much code just simply department a string aggregate function pass the column name separator and then grouping on the whatever you uh, you know column name wants now as we as we have also discussed that within the group you can actually uh, ordered right so what how to do that same the uh, basic statement remain the same just you will have to add within group and then order by your uh, column name you can have two or three names also column names right so here what we are saying order by employee name so here currently it is ascending so when i exec actually execute this so you can see mega nainesh and vipul initially it was coming uh, like the same result we pull nainesh mega but now it has been ordered like mega nainesh and we pull and also now if you want to do this descending so you can see here if i execute this the only change is that i am ordering this now on the descending way right so when i execute this you can see now it has been uh, generated as we pull nainesh and mega 
okay let me do this simultaneously so here you can see it was in ascending order within the group right now you can see what do you mean by within the group that is there are uh, we have three different groups like accounts computer and hr so within the group all the values which are concatenated are getting ordered by so here vipul nainesh mega here it was jignesh chirayu Jig gargan jignesh here it is jignesh gargan chirayu and so on <coughs> right sorry so now let us see the same statements how how basically you know uh, in in terms of performance uh, it looks like so let me uh, first give the connection here instead of string split demo it was string aggregate demo okay connect right get execution plan see now here you can see this oops okay sorry i i pasted the wrong queries give me a second i want to paste these two queries control c okay get execution plan and now you can see here also right uh the estimated cpu cost is very less of course the cpu for the first time you know it shows that it has an increased cpu let me do it again now you can see here right but the main is the cpu cost if you see string aggregate right it is again the half of that even the table scan can you see here in in the legacy way the stable can scan were two but in case of string aggregate the table scan only one table scan is happening even the logical reads are reduced like anything you know in the legacy it was 12 and in the uh, new uh, function string aggregate they are three right so these are these are basically you know uh, actually the data is not there so we we would not make but of course uh, you know uh, still we got some difference uh, but uh, believe me then when you are actually working on a very uh, high volume of data uh, then it would surely matter uh, using the user defined function compared to this native functions uh, whatever it is like string aggregate or string uh, split right so yeah this was a very short one uh, that's it uh, for today uh, as usual if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe uh, to the channel so that you know whenever i uh, actually upload uh, some fantastic uh, uh, videos you can uh, go through and you know you can learn something new into the databases along with that uh, please don't forget to like and share if you you know uh, like this video please like share and even comment you know if anything needs to be improved please comment so that you know i can take care of that uh, in my upcoming videos right so that's it for today uh, meet you with a new topic in the new demo uh, till then bye take care